Here, from here, we isolate this area from the rest of the plant, but we change the air in here two times a minute. So there's no smoke, there's no heat to speak of. Now you can't feel it here because it's a big opening, but as you start to walk through, you'll start to feel the air. There's a lot of air movement. Now we're, we're kind of clean fanatics, so here we put metal walls because he's doing uh, aluminum buffing. And where you do aluminum buffing, you don't do that with metal. You mix aluminum and metal together, possible explosion in, in uh, buffing. So they'll buff down in this area, and the walls are made of metal so they can brush them down at the end of every ship. Keep it clean. Now over here is metal grinding. Start to feel the air? Yeah. Now uh, here, they're doing their grinding, and all of the uh, grit from grinding is being collected by the dust collector. <clears throat> what happens now, this will collect all the grit, clean in the air. At break time, when they go to lunch, this unit will automatically, it's time, it'll automatically start going boom, boom. It starts shaking its filters at lunchtime, and just before they come back, maintenance will come through, grab the filters, throw the grit back in with the metal going back to the mill, put it back in so there's no downtime. It's proper staging. You can see we do a lot of stainless. This is again another process that's going through. Even in welding. Every welder, we know what he's doing and how long it's taking him to weld. Each section has welding tables. These tables are solid castings. Now what we do, because we have big CNC centers, every 18 months a table is scheduled to be lifted out of here on a crane, dropped onto the CNC, and we will actually machine it perfectly flat. I don't want my welders to have to be in here and use spacers to square things up. So he doesn't have any of that. Because if you look here, you'll see the machine marks. This one, I think it was November, went through the CNC. So it's perfectly flat. This one is scheduled to go in next month. And you'll see the wear and tear from grinding and dropping steel on it all day. But it's scheduled accordingly. Again, the crow's nest up here to see the entire area for the group leader, but his glass is treated so he can look at welding and grinding all day. They have their own crane in here so they can move their parts back and forth. And in here, besides all the welding and grinding, there's two robots in here that weld. You can see each, each guy has their table set up. These guys are building a, a, a side chassis of an Alpha. <coughs> This is an Encore. When we say we use heavy steel, we don't kid around. I mean, it's, it's seriously heavy stuff. But they'll, they'll put it all through together. And every, every part that they're making, he's making a chassis. He has an assembly drawing for that part. It tells him where to weld, what temperature to weld, how deep to weld, and when to weld, so that we don't put any stresses into the metal that we don't want. And every part has that.